Okay, y'all, so I hope this works better. Um, happy Vlogmas Day 8. So, yeah, um, this is just um, a small haul, y'all. I'm going to come back and do a Bath and Body Works haul also. Um, maybe tomorrow. Let's see how long it takes me. This is just a little teeny grocery haul. So, this is some premium knives plastic knives um i actually use these at work in the morning for my toast but i usually just grab a handful of them and take them to work with me in my lunch bag but i just bought this 48 and i think i'm gonna take it to work that's gonna be it y'all i'm not gonna need no more knives and the same with these premium napkins that i like to use i actually actually buy these um the vanity fair brand from walmart a lot i just like them they last good they strong but um i didn't go to walmart so i got and it cost too much at target i did a target pickup so i did a target pickup and i did a bothus pickup for bath and body works so i got these this is 150 of them y'all but i think i might take these to work maybe so i have today is the eighth Last day is the 29th, so I got 28 more days, y'all. No, what, how do you count it? 21, 21 more days. So yeah, so this is some solid white albacore, albacore, I don't know how you say this, tuna, and I'm gonna make it, and I'm gonna eat it with some chips. Okay, yes, I'm gonna eat chips. Don't have no business with it, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. I hope this is not backwards, y'all, like I'm thinking it is. If it is, please forgive me. Um, but yes, so chips and tuna tonight for dinner. Wonderful roasted and shelled pistachios. These are great snacks, y'all. Love them, love them, love them. Um, and I might even take these to work to have for the rest of my days so I don't have to be packing up stuff every day. And these are to for my sweet tooth, vanilla, vanilla wafers. I just love vanilla. I don't like any other kind of vanilla wafers. And lately y'all have been perfect because I like them kind of dark. I don't like them light, I like them dark. And lately the ones I've been getting from Target, I don't know why, but they're really dark darker they are the more I like them. Yay! And I didn't even know that Target sold this bread. This bread is from, let me check the date on this thing because um, they only had one left and I just searched for it on a whim. I didn't even know they sold it with these of the 16. So that's great. But I eat, this is like the bread that I eat. It's for sandwiches, hamburgers, everything. Arnold sandwich thins because the calories and carbs are just perfect. I've, I've eaten this for um, ever since, you know, I lost weight. I gained it back, but I'm still eating this bread. So, yeah, I'm looking at this, y'all, because we're almost, I'm going to look at that when I get through, because I'm thinking I might see some moldy spots on it, but it shouldn't be, but I'm going to check it. But I love it, so it's um, multigrain. And last but not least, my Puffs tissues that I love. I don't like the kind that pop up, y'all. I like the kind where you gotta reach in there and get them. I don't like pop up kind. I like to reach in and get them. So I hope these are the right ones. I think so. Sometimes I get the wrong ones, but I hope these are the right ones. So oops, that didn't take too long. How, where are we? 423? Oh yeah, let me go get the Bath and Body Works bag. Actually, I'll just walk on over here and do it. How's about that? Um, so, this is my Bopus order. Um, <laughs> this is my Bopus body care order and my, um, um, well, you'll see. But anyway, okay. So let's do my 
Remember I said I love this candle, y'all? And I did a focus order early Monday morning, or oh, was it late Sunday night before the sale was over, um, for two more of these, because I really love it. The Brioche French Toast. The notes are um, fluffy brioche toast, rich maple syrup, and a dollop of butter sprinkled with cinnamon. This has a kind of bready smell too, which French toast. But I, I was, I wasn't gonna pick it up. I wasn't gonna pick up the bogus oil. I was like, well, you know what? I've got one, you know, whatever. But then <laughs> I didn't burn the French toast candle for a few days, and I went back and burnt it last night. I was like, man, I wish I would have got those two others. I thought they had would put it back yesterday because this was last night when I lit them. But I got an or uh, an email today saying, don't forget about your order. So yeah, I have two more. So happy because I absolutely love it. Now this is my bopus order, which I'm surprised they did bopus. Um, hold on one second. Okay, y'all. So this is my little teeny bopus order for the bot for body care day. And remember, I said yesterday that I wanted to go um, because I had to get a few more gifts. I have enough body care for me. We'll see that I didn't adhere to that. But um, I wanted to get a few more gifts. So these are the gifts that I wanted to get. Um, the Coco Shea Rich Moisture Lotion. Two of those for two different friends. And I'm also going to give them um, the Rich Moisture um, Body Butter. So I got two of these. Um, and I thought if I would have just waited, I, I couldn't go this morning because I had to be at work at 8 o'clock. Stores open at 10 um, as normal. So I thought that by the time I would get off work, I thought the lotions would be there, but I did not think the body butters would be there. So I got, um, so I said, I, when I saw Bobas was available, I was shocked. So I was like, okay, well, let me go ahead. And the only thing they didn't have that I wanted, even though I don't need no more body care, was another, just a second vanilla bean Noel body butter, which that wasn't available at my store. And I didn't even think they would fulfill this order, y'all, uh, until maybe tomorrow, and then some stuff wouldn't be available. But they fulfilled it, and I got everything that they said was available. So I heard somebody say this, and I really believed it, too. Um, when, you, when you really love a scent, like I really love um, Gingham Gorgeous, y'all. I'm not much of a floral person, and this is... This has a tad bit of floor with, let me see, what are the notes? Pink strawberries, peach nectar, peony blooms. But it's sweet. It's not like the heady type florals. It's not like the mature type florals like rose and all that. Um, I just love this. This is the moisturizing body wash. So I heard someone say, um, you know, one reason to maybe get some more backups for your body care is... Sometimes they change the formula. Well, let me, let me, I'll come back to that at the end. Let me see how long it takes me to finish this. So I did get a vanilla bean Noel moisturizing body wash as well. But y'all, I'm thinking about, I'm, I'm going to go upstairs and check my stash and make sure, because I was destroyed last year, y'all. Well, not destroyed, but it was like, what? When I saw that I didn't have enough vanilla bean Noel to last me through the winter. And I use it up until probably through March. This is one of my favorite scents. When people are calling it vanilla bean, no smell, I always get a good smell from this. But the notes are fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, sugar cookies, whipped cream, and snow-kissed musk. So. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, this seems strong even than it has before. I kind of think maybe I should have gotten more, maybe. I'm going to go upstairs and check how much I have. I might get more. If I can do another bopus order, 
I might do that. Um, and so um, then I also got warm vanilla sugar. I didn't like this one for years. Well, it to me was, now this was the scentless one for years. And then I tried it. Um, and I was like, because my sister kept wanting it. And I was like, well, why does she like this? She can barely smell it. And I saw that it was strong. But y'all, you know, this is nowhere. I smell it, but it's nowhere near as strong as that vanilla bean. Well, so the scent notes on this, we all know them, are intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, creamy sandalwood. I mean, I like this. I'm actually using it um, in the shower now. Um, but oh, I gotta look and see. This formula is it, y'all. I gotta look and see how much I got left. I might place another focus order. So what I started to say was changing the formula. I remember last year people said that they changed last year, maybe year before last, that they changed the formula on um, my favorite fall scent, bar none. Um, Oh my God, I can't believe I can't remember it now. Marshmallow pumpkin latte. Oh, is that it? I, I may have it wrong. I can't believe that I am actually um, not remembering what it was because marshmallow pumpkin latte. I think that's it. Yeah. I don't know. I just love it though. It's my favorite, my favorite for years. And I heard people say that they changed the formula last year. So, um, I smelled it and it smelled the same to me. Um, people was like, ugh. And it smelled the same to me. I, I, I purchased it on Body Care Day, which was, you know, around this time last year. So I never used it last year because I went straight into my Christmas scents or winter scents. So I started it this year, y'all. When you first sniff it or use it, it smells like the traditional marshmallow pumpkin latte. But y'all, the dry down smells musty. Not musky, but musty. So I find that I have to spray tons of the um, um, fine fragrance mist. Um, now the, um, the shower gel was not like that. The shower gel smelled the same. But the um, cream and the body butter and I just got it last year, so I don't think it's bad. Um, they, the try down is musty. Now I heard somebody say this year it was really good, but I don't think they have any more. But if I look and see that they do, y'all, I might get some. Because, so I think that's true when people say, um, if you find a formula, formula you like, get that, because you don't know when they're gonna change it. And that's another reason why I'm so glad I got these. Brioche French Toast. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. They may not be the strongest year. I've heard some people say it wasn't that strong, but to me it was about a, it's about an 8, 8.5. Um, so, yeah. So let's see if they've messed with my game on Gorgeous. Because that came out this year, right? But they still could have. No, it's not it's the same. It smells lovely. So, I think I should have got some. I did try to get body butter in this, but they didn't have any. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to order it. I'm not paying no shipping. Because I don't have a coupon, so I'm definitely not paying any shipping. Oh, you know, one of the reasons why I didn't get this is because I was thinking, this is always at the semi-annual sale. Maybe not the body butters, but the body wash and the creams. I was thinking, just get one. That's what I was thinking. That's right. Just could get one just in case, but you'll probably be able to get this at um, some annual sale. Because for the um, because I am going, I'm off on um, the day after Christmas. That's the only day I have off other than Christmas, y'all. Well, I have my regular Mondays off, which I may work to catch up. Not working this Monday, though, but I am working tomorrow. So, yeah, um, so how was it today? Am I still in panic mode? Yep, but I am going in tomorrow, and I kind of know where I am. 
after tomorrow because I'll be there probably about five. Ten to ten to three. Yeah, about five hours. So I'll know where I am then. Um, and y'all, you know what I decided today when I was coming home? I mean, you know, I love the people, I supervise everyone I work with. And um I don't want to leave them in a bad state and transition. But I kind of decided, you know what, I'm going to do what I can do. And anything I can't do. See, the main thing is the files. And arranging them and who should get what. Um, so, um, I'm going to do what I can do. And what I can't do, it will have to be done. I, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. No more. I'm going to do what I can do. But also my electronic files. Now, um, that's something I might work on on some of my days off. But I think I'm only going to take one more Monday off. That's Monday. I don't think I'm going to take off um, the 18th. I think I'm going in, I think. I think. I might not, but I think I am. So anyway, y'all, that's... Um, we got 21 more days as an employed person. Um, I stopped figuring out how many actual working days I have because to me, I'm still working. So I'm still a working woman. So even if I don't have to go in, which I'm going in this Saturday, it's I, I, I still have a job. I still have to plan things around the fact that I got to go. I mean, I have to go in that day like Sunday, but I got to go in Monday. So why skip those days? Especially during Christmas, they're not really like relaxation days or anything like that. Because on Sunday, I plan to do my Christmas cards so I can take them to the post office on Monday. Um, so, yeah. So, that's um, what I'm going to do. Um, and prayerfully, y'all, pray for me. This, it, tomorrow goes well at work so I can stay out of panic mode and just, you know, get a better picture of how much I really have left. So, but I think that it's going to slow. One thing I can say is to my supervisor or whoever else is that, you know what, I need to transition. So, um, maybe you might want to give future assignments to someone else so that I can leave things decently and, and in order. I might have to do that too. I don't know if I told you that I have taken two hours where I do not want to be disturbed during the day, close my door um, two hours and work on my files. That's not a lot. It doesn't really give me any chance to do much of anything, but it's something, you know, so it's better than not being able to work on that at all. But I think Part of the solution is going to be either you let me transition properly or I keep taking on assignments. And if I keep taking on assignments, it's going to be I do what I can. That's all we can do. All right, y'all. So, I, you know, I usually always reply to all of the comments. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the words. Watching, you know, I know I'm a small, I got like, um, what, a thimble full? <laughs> no, don't let me disparage you guys with a handful of subscribers but it's okay because I don't do this for money I do it because I like to do it so but I appreciate the comments and you know I usually respond but it's kind of been so hectic here at home um it's like I'm trying to do a lot um because I usually have time off for Christmas and I'm not going to have any this year so <clears throat> I'm trying to do a lot of stuff that I would normally have time to do, like my last day normally would be like next week on the 15th, but I'm working that week, the week before Christmas, the week of Christmas. So it's just like I have a lot, you know, no, so I'm, I don't get to come back to stuff the way I want to, but I appreciate all the comments. Um, I wish I could remember the people, I don't have that many comments, but the people who I left one and I haven't responded. Um, but one who kind of has been around for a minute, um, Joanna McLeod, I think it is. Um, I saw your comment. Thanks for it. If I don't get to answer it. Um, she has a channel too. She does. I know she does Bath and Body Works. Um, and, and I think I think 
she does other stuff too, like um, other hauls too. I'm not sure. But thank you. I saw your comment. And I can't think of anyone else like the name itself. But I, I do. I read them all. And I'll start back replying when I kind of get things back on track. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.